Hi everybody, Sam at Mixed Up Craft, thank you for watching today. So this is my what's in the box, which means it's my latest design team package from Trimcraft, and this is my Christmas package. So this is my first year with Trimcraft on the design team, so this is my first time receiving the Christmas package, and my word, they have not disappointed. I'm completely blown away. Now I did get to play with a lot of this product back in July on a very, very hot day in head office. So I made some really nice projects and you'll see them over the coming months. But now we've got it for ourselves and we get to create with it. So let me get into this box and show you what they have sent because it's amazing. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna start off with the Simply Creative range. So I was super excited. I didn't actually see these. They didn't have these when we went up for our crafting. We went up, it was kind of like over two days. And these are the advent numbers and it's perfect. So I have a really nice advent tutorial coming and I hadn't done the numbers yet I hadn't really thought about that so now I've got these the, that's it it's perfect so that that tutorial in my head now is complete so I can start putting it together and that one will be out in not too long because I want you to be able to have time to do it ready for the first of December so those are really really nice everything as always I will link as much as I can in the description box below because this is what I'm going to be crafting with this Christmas there are a few other little bits that I believe may well be sent out to us and there's another lovely collection which I'll talk about later so then we've got here these adhesive snowflake pearls. Bring them up there, you can see. Really, really sweet. So perfect for you know those final little touches on your cards and your gift bags and stuff. Then I've got the Christmas twine. So you get three, and there's 10 meters on each. So you've got 30 meters in total there. We've got this gingerbread man sticker. I've got the fairy one, which I put on a gift tag for a friend's birthday. And this is this uh, lovely gingerbread man here. So he's gonna look lovely on a gift tag, hanging off a lovely gift bag. <laughs> so you'll see him appear at some point. And I know that there are some other ones as well. So yeah, look out for those. Then we've got some candy cane pipe cleaners. It was funny actually. Um, sorry, off the top of my head, I forgot who it was that emailed me about pipe cleaners. Um, it's one of those things, I've got a ton of them and um, they get used when I make like rosettes and things like that. But these ones are going to work really great for candy cane. And these will feature in some of my, uh, yeah. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to say anything more because there's quite a lot there. So I know, got an idea now what I'm going to do with them. Then we've got metallic pom-poms and pom-pom trim. This looks lovely around the side of your cards, gift boxes, things like that. So it's really, really sweet. And I use that again on a two, on a project that I've done. And the metallic ones are just really nice. Then we've got some little jingle bells. You've got a variety of colors and sizes there. So we've got the larger gold, you've got the smaller gold, and you've got the green, silver, and red. So they're lovely to have as little dangles on gift bags and things like that. Then we've got these. These are really lovely. I like the shape of these. These are similar ones that I had before from another brand, which were really lovely. Um, again, I've already got two things. One project I've already done, and these will now just complete it. So that's exciting. Then we've got some wooden shapes. So these are great. You can colour these with your alcohol markers. You can paint them. You can also heat emboss on them as well. So you can keep them as they are and distress them just with your inks if you want to but they are nice if you imagine if you've got some nice green embossing powder and then you can you know add some little baubles or something so they're really fun there's lots you can do with them and again i will include all of this in tutorials over the coming months then we've got these toppers i think we were all not fighting but these were like one of the popular toppers that were getting used a lot when we were crafting so you've got the happy christmas in the silver and the merry christmas in the gold and these are wooden and they're really really nice then we've got the here, we've got some faux berries, so that's going to work great for my wreath this year. We have these here, which are mini envelopes, so the gold, and there are silver as well. And then you've got the little foam dots on the back there, but you can pop a little note in there, you could have Dear Santa on here. There's so many nice ways to obviously add to it. These are super cute, and I've got a card idea for these. So these are your felt wreaths, and you get six of them. And they look like they're self-adhesive actually as well, those ones. Then we've got some Christmas glitter tags, you get 24 in here, and they're quite, they're, yeah, they're a nice thick card. And again, you can obviously decorate these and go to town with them, so there's lots you can do with them, so they're always handy just to grab. Then I've got the skinny tinsel. There are other colours in this one as well, I believe. And off the top of my head, I want to say there's red, green, and silver, and the gold. You get three metres there. I've already That's already been planned to be used. Then we've got glitter pots. This year with my glitter, I've got something very different planned. So again, watch this space because I will be sharing it and it's going to be part of my Christmas gifts to people this year as well. So yeah, they're really, really handy. And the pots are nice to use afterwards as well if you're creating like little shadow boxes um, and you do a lot of mixed media, the little glass jars are really nice to keep. 
Then we've got decorative clear tape. Let's take that one out of the packaging, it's a bit easier. So the top one says Merry Christmas, you can see they have it there. And the bottom one's got the snowflakes. This is great to just use as normal clear tape when you're wrapping presents, but it does look good over coloured cardstock as well because you really see that white image pop and you get five metres per roll there. Then we got the, the snow. Um, I used this on a project, as did many of us on the day. It's one of those things, it's a bit like gilding flakes. Like as soon as you kind of breathe or sneeze, it just kind of goes everywhere. It's so soft to touch. It's like one of those stress balls. Um, so I'm so excited about this and um, it will be used probably on everything this Christmas. And uh, yeah, it's just really good. So you get 100 grams artificial snow. So that's gonna be really handy. Then we've got these lovely snowflake sequins, so that just screams shaker card to me. And they're great as little embellishments as well. So 20 grams and you get a mix of the gold and the silver. Then we've got these, which are, yeah, they're just back to, oh no, that is the back. Oh, the back bit's been put in the wrong way. Let's just twist that around. There we go, it bugged me otherwise. So you get eight of these. And they're almost like a little bit more of a rose kind of gold. And those are eight glittered wooden stars. How nice is that gonna look above a Christmas tree? And I already have something in mind. <laughs> then we've got these glitter felt, A4 glitter felt multi-pack. So you get five of these. So we've got, oh yeah, they're nice. So it's just like the felt that you used to use in school. Or, you know, you can buy those, those toys where you create little scenes. So you've got two of that kind of yellow gold. It's a real rich gold. And then three of the silver. Okay, so again, they're really handy. And these die cut, lovely. You can die cut felt. I showed that with um, that Arteza felt that I had, but because this has got more of a, I guess, a firmer, rigid kind of feel to it, that's going to cut beautifully. So I look forward to using that. And then we've got some chunky tinsel yarn. You can see there how it looks, but again, this is going to be great to decorate gift bags, boxes. It's that'd be nice as a handle. You could plait that and have a really nice fun handle on a gift bag. So yeah, and again, I imagine this will come. I'm trying to remember on the day, but I think I want to say that there's a green, silver, and a gold as well in this one. They're kind of the colours that run through it. I think these are the the four colours that kind of go through the whole of the um, Simply Creative Christmas range this year. So then I've got these five decoupage papers. It's deco mash and it's first edition and a real nice variety there because you've got your traditional with those kind of, two, well, three even. And then these ones here are a little bit more, you know, fun and I guess more kid orientated. So saying that though, <laughs> this one I really, really love. I've got, I've got some ideas for these. I have used decoupage in the decoupage decoupage papers in the past so yeah it's quite nice to have them here because it kind of encourages you forces you in a way to use them so I've got them here and I, I definitely want to do that so yeah look out for those tutorials I think they're going to be quite fun and then I was really excited that they've given us one of the digital die cuts so this is the buildable Christmas scenes there are more to the collection I'll link them all below so if you are someone that you know loves doing your more digital cutting crafting then these are going to be really handy so we've got the snowman the great thing about these, you can make them as big and as small as you want. We've got that lovely nativity scene. We've got the Father Christmas there and his sleigh as like the silhouette. We've got the Robin and the wreath. We've got the Merry Christmas. Also, these are used with your cricket silhouette or brother machines. Love this scene here with the fireplace and the surround. I think I've got something in mind now, an idea that I've had before, but I think I could make it work with this one. And then on the back, we've got this lovely door. So that's going to work really well with those wreaths, the little um, ones that I shared earlier. You've got your cracker, the stockings. Those stockings you could have as large as 12 by 12. You could do a really lovely garland above your fireplace. Like it, the, the possibilities are endless when you've got digital die cuts, which I'm slowly starting to you know use more and more. You've got another scene here. So you can fill all this and add more colour. You can you, you can just do so much with them. Love the penguin. I think that's really cute. And then you've got your three snow globes. So if none of you have seen how these come, I've opened this one up already. So it just tells you a little bit there about it. And then inside here, you also have all of them there. So it shows you all the SVGs. So it's a bit easier to kind of, I guess, decide how you're going to use them. And then you've got your USB. Now, the nice thing about these is they are a key ring style. To remove the plastic there on the back. It tells you what it is. Nice and clear, buildable Christmas. And then you've got your key ring loop. So I will add that to my other key ring of my 
files and it's ju it just hangs on my pegboard so it's really easy to use and yeah, ready to go. So yeah, thank you for sending that because I wasn't, yeah, wasn't expecting it. So that's a really nice extra, nice package, lovely gift as well. You know, these are nice if you're, you know, somebody's getting a digital machine, a friend or someone you know, or even you're giving them that. These are nice little additions. They've got all the other collection as well that I've shared before because they launched um, a few months ago and there's so many now to choose from. So yeah, I'm going to enjoy using them. Okay, so then I've got a selection of Christmas ribbons. So these are all, no, they're not all. Some of them are the gross grain. So we've got those there. Let me just put, actually, you can see which ones are gross grain because they've got a different packaging. So there we go. So that's those ones. If I just bring them up, you can see. We've got just lots of love, but in a Christmas red. Then you've got Merry Christmas. You've got your holly berries there, holly and berries there, Noel. We've got that just checkered print. These are going to be great for handles on most things, to be honest. That's probably what I'll end up using a lot of these for, and bows. That one's a nice one, 25th of December. That's them, and then these here are your cotton, and you get two metres on all of them. So this one here, we've got Happy Christmas, and we've got Merry Christmas in the grey with a snowflake. We've got Dear Santa, I like that one. Got just the plain snowflakes. Then we have stars. So again, that's stars you can use for birthdays and stuff. And then you've got Ho Ho Ho, I really like that one as well. So yeah, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. So there's twelve ribbons there, which should keep me going. Okay, then we also got, this is more Simply Creative. So what I started showing you, these are some of the stamps and dies. I know there are more, but the dies, you've got the mitten. And these are lovely to die cut a few times and then paper piece back together. They make lovely little like dangles. You can have a couple of mittens like hanging down the side of a card. I like that. Or to have again on the gift bag, gift box, things like that. So they're cute. That one there says with love and you've got the holly, little holly leaf there. And these are always inexpensive. These these are, I, I want to say they're like 99p. I'm sure in the range and stuff, they're, they are very good value. This is nice. It's like a little, almost like a memory decks, roller decks kind of style. Like you turn it over like a, per, no, is it perennial? Yeah, that kind of thing. I think I'm saying it right. December the 25th. <laughs> Moving on. Then we've got the Christmas one, or Xmas. Some people don't like Xmas. My mum hates Xmas. She can't stand it. She really does not. She's like, it's Christmas. So I don't mind it, to be honest. But anyway, <laughs> I know some people don't. Then you've got this one here, really cute. Again, if you paper piece that, I've actually already worked with this one. And I die cut it a few times and then paper pieced it back together. So I die cut it, I think it was in, I want to say silver. No, it must have been white. And then I'd done the car in red, black wheels, green Christmas tree. And then I'd done the silver around it, something like that. It looked really lovely. And then let it snow, thought that was really nice. And then these are cute, these are the stamps. So you've got, look at him, that's your Christmas bear. Oh, he's gonna be so nice to color, love that one. And then we've got cozy Christmas wishes. That'd be nice just in silver, just use your heat embossing. That'd be really nice. That's a good one, all I want for Christmas is you. That's gonna look lovely inside, you know, stamped inside of a card or on a gift tag. Then the car. Again, I've actually already used this one and it was nice to colour. I'd done a real nice red car, uh, green Christmas tree, and then done the black wheels with little bits of silver for like the metal work and that came out really nice. Love that one. That's your hot chocolate. It's like a Christmas jumper knitted effect on the, the cup. It's really cool. And you got deck the halls. with like the, almost like the mistletoe around it. That's another nice scene there like that one. Again, I would just stamp that in a block colour. I'd probably, again, heat emboss it all in gold or something and put it on a gift tag. And then talking about tags, there is one there. So you can stamp that. You could actually have that on one side. You could stamp that on a piece of card and then cut around it and then, you know, probably get away with that on the inside. So, yeah, they are lovely. Got some more washi tape. I know a lot of you like the washi tapes. You brought the ones that I shared before and I do use them a lot. I use them a lot on my envelopes. When I'm sealing them, I put a little bit of washi tape across and things like that. So let's get into this one. Just bring it up a bit closer here. You can see, so you've got Merry Xmas. <laughs> you've got Love, Joy, Peace, and then Love, Joy, Peace. You've got the arrows. You've got that kind of more Scandinavian kind of print, the holly. That one says season's greetings, you've got the bells, you've got music notes, happy Christmas and your Christmas hat. 
and then here you've got the stripes, Christmas trees, festive wishes, you've got that kind of again almost like tartan checkered kind of look, with love and merry Christmas or Xmas, joy, peace and love, so that's the same as that one but in the green, they'd look nice together though on the card, you've got your poinsettia, you've got the red with the stars, snowflakes and then a noel all look lovely together and you can just make cards just by putting loads of strips of the washi tape together and it's great for doing the herringbone technique okay and then i've got the first edition paper pads so these are the 8x8 i know they come in 12x12 and i believe 6x6 and i think there's a couple more as well but this is white christmas really really lovely one let me just open this up okay so i'll just give you a quick flick through of this one so at the back you have your double-sided papers and you always get three of each. So you've got this one here with the fairy and that kind of circle print. Then we've got this one here. So these are your background papers, they're great. I love that one there. It's like the glistening lights like in the distance and blurred. It's really nice. So you've got those three. Then we've got this one which has got that lovely festive detail there and that's the back. And then this one, that's lots of Christmas trees. And then you've got like the swirls and then this one here says a very merry everything and then it's got merry christmas seasons greetings i like that a very merry everything that's really cool and then you've got that one on the back and you've got this one with the star uh snowflake sorry and then you've got that one there with it's almost like just like a christmas decoration we've got some music notes or sheet paper and that pattern and then you go on to your more designer papers like your UV spot, things like that. So we've got this one here is just the snowflake. And these are single sided. And you've got that one there which is just a nice, almost like a little bit of a tartan kind of look to it. And that one there is like the berries, white berries. Then you've got this one here which is textured. So that's the spot UV and that says I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. I love that one. I don't know if it's catching, but there is a, a shine to that. Then you've got the stag's head there, or the reindeer. It's a stag's head, I think, that one. This one here, look at this one. Gorgeous, that glitter, the snow. And then this one, love that one. And this one, look at that foiling. So there are your two foil sheets at the top. So that's White Christmas. Then we've got Winter Rose. Okay, so again, starting from the back, you've got lovely deep wine colours there and the snowflakes. You've got that green and then just that nice pattern there. And you've got the stars and then Christmas trees. Then we've got, that's nice with the pine cones. I do like that. It's like a little bouquet. Really pretty. And that, I mean, they look lovely together on a card. That's going to be a really nice looking card. Then you've got a more decorative stag head, although that does look more like a reindeer on that one. I really like that. And then you've got that. It's almost like the snowfall. Then you've got some... That looks like mistletoe sprigs. And you've got the Christmas tree with a star on top. Again, they look lovely together. Really nice. And we've got, again, the plain. Again, like a nice tartan style. And we've got the stripes. Oh, that's nice. We've got the stocking. Actually, that's a, that's like a traditional knitted sock. And then it's got that lovely like floral flourish coming out the top. And then you're onto your single side. So this one's got the wreath with Noel. And obviously the 12 by 12, these would be blown up bigger. And the 6 by 6, it'd just be smaller. That one there. That's pretty. Um, no, that's really nice. It's like all the garlands. And then you've got the holly. It's all got the glitter on it. It's really pretty. This one here, you got the pheasant. That's nice, a Christmas pheasant. Look how pretty that is. See the detail in him. And it's like he's got a little bit of, it's like he's off to make his nest. Or he's got some mistletoe. <laughs> um, we've got this one here, which has got a texture on it. And then you've got your, these are your pearlescent designs. So you get two at the front. So this one's got like the shooting stars. And then this one here, that gorgeous, and it's all pearl, 
pearl on the back, pearlized paper. Really, really lovely. And you get that lovely overview on the front as well of Winter Rose. And then this is my favorite. So here you've got your Christmas Robin, you've got penguins, and just really nice colors. You've got the polar bear. So let's get into this one. Okay, so again, from the back, got this kind of like snowflake ombre effect with the pinks and the reds. And then you've got that one. Some of you might recognize that print because it's a very similar print from the Celebrate, Let's Celebrate but they just made it more festive than that one. I really like it. And then look at that one there, the lovely reindeer and the Christmas trees and all kinds of lovely imagery going on there. Really like that one. And on the opposite side, you've got this one. And then, love gingham. That is just, that works so well with so many things, whether it be Christmas, birthdays, just a gingham background is just really, really nice, so they won't last long. And then you have the polar bear on that side, and it's got a little scarf on, that cute. And then we've got the Christmas trees. Just love the colours, love the um, the palette that they've chose. And then that one there, it's like, it's like a little, yeah, it's almost like a little decoration, but then on there you've got a little robin, he's got his little hat on. <laughs> so cute. Um, then we've got this one here, this is nice, it's like a nice little scene, that'd be lovely to fussy cut out, you've got have a happy Christmas, and you've got Mr Polar Bear, you've got the Robin, you've got the presents, you've got that bike with the presents on it, it's really really sweet, I do like that one, and then, and then that one there, with all the lovely, it's like berries, pine cones, just modernised, just in a different, like I said, the colour palette just gives it that real modern look. All the Christmas trees there. You've got the fox, that's a nice addition. Quite like that one. Again, that doesn't necessarily have to be Christmassy. That's quite an autumnal look as well to it. So, you know, things like this you can use all year round. Then look, isn't that lovely? Little family of penguins. Really, really sweet, I love that. How many times do I say I love that? <laughs> and then you've got them all there on like a little washing line of socks or a garland of socks they look sweet with their little scarfs on them super cute and then we've got this one here with again like shooting stars and this is now we're on to the so the robin is the star of the single sided so then we've got those there that's nice the back of them it's like mum and dad there with the scarf around the both of them and then the little like little baby kind of looking on that's sweet and this one here says peace and love, and that's the spot UV. You can see there how it catches. Um, that's nice, sparkle, and it has got lots of glitter on it, I'm trying to catch the light. Maybe if I move, you can just see it there, starting to pick it up. And it's textured, you can feel it as well, it's nice. And then we've got this one here, tis the season to sparkle. It's a really lovely image, and that little wreath effect. Um, that one there, again, spot UV, you can see there, the snowflakes, and then that one there, which has got all the stripes. Again, stripes are really, really good. So yeah, how lovely is that one? Believe in magic. Believe in magic? Yeah, believe in magic. Sorry, I was checking there wasn't a the, believe in the magic, but it's believe in magic. And then winter rose and white Christmas, so that's those three. Okay, and then this is one of the Dovecraft collections. So Dovecraft, when they do their collection, they have everything to go with it. So it's like the Secret Garden, which I know many of you had, and also the Happy You. There's there's obviously loads more before that, but the most recent ones, and you just get everything to go with it. So I don't know if this is everything. I can't remember off the top of my head, but anyway, I'll share the links to it all. But you've got Twilight Wishes, this is called. So you've got your gold buttons. These are nice, these are your metal star charms. And then we've got 16 mini bows. We have got, these are different, these are really nice. So these are baubles and they've got holes in them. They're wood as well, let me take them out. So these on a card, you thread them through with some ribbon. You can have them along the top of a card. How nice do they look? But I'm gonna probably have them as little dangles, again on gift bags, have one, one on each one with a bow and have that mixed with it and do a nice little dangle. I think they'll look really nice. But you get six wooden 
shapes. Then you've got a mix of pegs there, so you've got the gold glitter and then you've got purple, like a deeper purple and the green. And then you've got these stickers here, so these are your snowflakes, yeah they all look like they're snowflakes, you get 24 glittered stickers there. And then you've got your paper pack, so I've been sent the 6x6 and the 12x12. I'm going to open up the 6x6 because the 12 by 12 is the same it's just blown up okay so the first one you get the overview sheet i always say make sure you keep this because that is a card already for you that's done and then you could use one of these toppers in the middle and you have a beautiful card so always keep that one and then we'll start from the back again so with these ones here you get two glitter papers two gold foil papers and then the rest are just you know normal in terms of pattern papers so we've got this one here Get three again of each. We've got that one there. Just like your Christmas tree tw kind of twigs. Or sprigs, sorry. That's the word I'm looking for. Then we've got that one there. That's nice. It's all glittered garlands. And then you've got your Christmas decorations there. Very, very like luxurious looking decorations there hanging off the tree. And then we've got this one here which says merry and bright. Noel, season's greetings, Christmas wishes. Yeah, I think that's it. So it's a nice one. Another really lovely glittered one with all the snowflakes. This one's got a real rich palette of colours. It's lovely. And then you've got that one there, which is your peacock feather, which is, I think, really nice. But again, not Christmassy. You could use that all year round. That's a similar one to in that other paper pack. So it's like the, the glistening lights, but really blurred. But you could also use that as a water background. You could get away with that. So you've got this one here. It's almost got that 1920s kind of look about it. And then that one there is like glitter. Look at that. Ooh, it's beautiful. And that one there. Again, gorgeous. And then the top sheet. So that is Twilight Wishes. The other one is Christmas Tales. OMG. Oh, so, so cute. So um, again, I'll share that one in due course, but how lovely is Twilight Wishes? Then I got sent some more of the Permafix tape. I love this stuff. I've gone through, this is my fourth roll now. So <laughs> you get five meters. I don't use it like as a normal kind of double-sided tape. It's for when I've got you know a large surface area to cover and I want to do some thick strips around the edge or just something that's maybe quite heavy this is so so strong and uh, again all the links will be shared I'm going to hang that one straight up so it's ready to use and then we've got one two three four five six twelve by twelve paper addicts so the last lot of paper addicts papers I've loved them all um, I think it was the tropical one which I probably used the most and also the retro days I'm down to just literally fragments of all of those paper packs because I've used them There's a few other projects to come but um, I've used them so much they've just been really really nice so here we have Christmas Bell oh so if you've got you know any children that you know your own children grandchildren friends or anything that love just real that soft beautiful pink color and fairies ballerinas bows all that kind of thing then christmas bell i think is going to be a winner for you so here you have these bows then this one here says Chris, magical christmas with the little fairy uh, you get two of each on the paper addicts but it's really good quality i see a lot of you comment you say that you've got the paper addicts and you just love the quality of the paper and the great thing is is the price point of the paper addicts as well so you get this is the ones that this range comes in you get small little 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter i'm sure it is then you also get the and then 12 by 12. i want to say there's a size in between again it will all be linked but they are they're really really good value so i think the small ones are as cheap as 199 something like that anyway look at that lovely bauble with the bow on top really really pretty nice background one there and then look at the Christmas lights that's sweet you got this one here which again is like your Christmas tree sprigs you got that swirly print there but again you can use those all year round these are make great birthday cards and the fairy there you know you put a happy birthday with that it doesn't have to be Christmas polka dots but then you have the really girly snowflakes so the snowflakes done with flowers as well as 
like the the snow of or the look of the snowflake. It's just I like it. It's really really cool, a bit different. And you have got this one here. So you have got the fairy holding the the bauble, which is sweet. Again, that's kind of a bit of a, a, a theme. I think is this kind of blurred, almost like bokeh kind of um, print uh, look. You know that blurred blurred effect. Then you've got your fairy in the little kind of like mason jar, like holding your wishes. You've got the lovely subtle stars there. That's nice. Look at that one there. In the snow globe. And you've got the stripes. Stars. You've got Merry Christmas. That one there says Merry and Bright. That's nice with the bells all on the garland there. Lovely. And then you've got snowflakes, another nice kind of like glittery ombre. It's not really picking up, but it is there. It's lovely. It's very, very subtle. Like I said, this is very soft. It's just, yeah, very, very delicate. And you've got your pink, I guess, kind of like poncetta flowers there. And look at the Christmas tree with all the snow on them. Let me bring that up there, can you see? Really, really nice. So yes, yeah, so that's Christmas Bell. Very, very pretty. Then you've got your traditional red, green and white, so red, green and gold, red, green, silver. This is me. I'm, I am quite traditional with my Christmas colours, but I am venturing into other colours. Um, and since joining Trimcraft, it's kind of encouraged me to, I guess, get out of that that kind of colour set that I've always had. And when you see the bottom one of this, which is my favourite one, it's completely away from this. So, But I do still love this red green yeah it's lovely so this is festive folly and um, you can already see there you get a lovely overview this is i'd say a great one for fussy cutting you've got lots of elements in this paper pad so you've got these presents here all easy to cut out and then you've got that one there so it's quite easy for me i know i would just use these ones for fussy cutting and there's you know that's not too precious to cut into these ones here you've got your mitten your hot chocolate presents the bells Little candy cane again very easy to cut out you've got that lovely checked and this one here really nice these are great for masculine cards as well so I'd say it's a good one for that and you can like I said get the smaller ones you've got Santa there Merry Christmas or Father Christmas just for you again great to cut you know if you've got a rectangle die you've got nice little toppers there to go you've got this one here polka dots and then you've got your Three different mugs of hot chocolate there. You've got cookies, cream, little candy canes. Really lovely. And then this is great for Advent. So again, if you're making your own, see, I forgot about this one. So now, now I'm seeing this one. I could do a bit of a mix with these and that's it. It all matches so well together. So uh, yeah, in fact, actually all of the Simply Creative would match perfectly. You know, just bring in bits here. It all works so well with this. So if you want accessories to match this paper pad, then go for the Simply Creative because it's all going to work, even down to look your little envelopes and things. So that's a good one. But yeah, they're all there. One to 25. Perfect. Easy to cut. Just run them through your cutting machine or cut them by hand. Or even if you can find a die, that would would work as well. But I really like that. So I need to, need to have a little think because I think the size of these might work a bit better. I don't know. We shall see. And if you want to make them for more than you know more than the one, you've got two sheets, so which is always good. Then you've got your candy cane, really lovely. They're just really bold, clean lines. Just yeah, really like it. Christmas tree. You've got some stripes. That's nice. Again with your pine cone. And then more stripes. They're nice. They're really nice to cut as well. Love them. Love, love, love. I hope you're enjoying this as well. <laughs> Got holly. Polka dots. Oh, like snow that one is actually, isn't it? That's like a golf print to me. Like the Pringle brand. My dad was a golfer, so years ago I remember him wearing shirts and stuff like this. And my godfather as well. Um, that's really sweet. Love the little reindeer and the Christmas trees. And you got that one there. That's got a name, that print. I can't think what it is. You look closely. Reminds me of something. And then, that's nice. That's like a traditional looking, that's like a Christmas jumper kind of effect as well on it, that one. And this one. 
but yeah it screams again mail cards as well to me so I think that's going to be a winner I think that's going to be one of the the most popular from the collection festive folly then we've got your sleigh ride so this one here is like your Scandinavian style um, it's almost a little bit like um, cross stitch as well so again working from the back so you've got this one here and then that one so it's that real ice kind of blue it makes me feel cold looking at it it's that kind of yeah effect <laughs> I swear some of you must listen to me and think she's really quite odd anyway then we have see what I mean with the cross stitch it's like it's like a pattern which is obviously quite a Scandinavian style so you've got your mittens there um, snowflakes bigger snowflakes they are nice they're making my eyes go funny actually that's cool I like the little jumper and the presents that's cute see that looks like a sampler it's that kind of style in fact you could have that as a card and then die cut nice thick letters with this and have it over the top that would look nice more prints Merry Christmas it makes me want to stitch it does make me want to stitch over the top of it um, this one here happy Christmas merry and bright joy that's nice I like that one that's cool again Christmas jumper definitely nice gift bag that look lovely with a nice gift tag hanging down. More backgrounds. You got one with the hearts. That one there. Yeah, that's it there. So that is Sleigh Ride. Really like it. Different, that's what I like. Then we've got Magical Stories. This is another favourite because you know I like bright and wacky kind of colours as well. But this is great for fussy cutting. And again, I would say if you've got more of a girly girl and someone that does love all of the pinks and sparkles and stuff this one along with the Christmas bell I think would work well together because you have your fairies and things like that so you've got your overview again here and then stuff from the back you've got your polka dots look at the Christmas tree how fun is that it's just gonna look honestly I think you're gonna be bombarded it's gonna be like a tutorial every day I'm thinking because I've got to get you know I've got to get this stuff out to you lot so uh, and I've got too many ideas, I need to do it all. So <laughs> these are definitely going to get fussy cut. Love those images. Love that. But again, the good thing about this is, is birthdays. This is going to carry on through the year. So, okay, that side, not so much. But I could certainly use that on a card. So if I did have any left over, but that is just so cool. Look at that. I forgot about this one. You've got here the Sugar Plum Fairy. You've got the Ballerina. You've got the Nutcracker. Christmas decorations. Holly. You've got this little mouse with his little crown on and his sword. You've got the Rocking Horse. The Crown. It's like the more you look at it, King Rat. Oh, he's a rat, not a mouse. You probably saw that before I did. The drums. It's just really, really fun. Nutcracker. Don't know if I said him or not. Ballerina and the Fairy. Yeah, it's one of those ones you keep looking at, you see something else. Really, really fun. I don't think I took that. I did see it, but I don't think I... I didn't work with this one on the day, I don't believe. Anyway, love it. Look at that. Oh, that lovely. Aren't they gorgeous? Again, you could actually hang them. You could really cut them out. That hole's big enough to put your hole punch through. Just thread some ribbon, put it on a card, have it dangling over a bag just too many ideas it really is love that with the pink berries instead of the red but with the red background I think that's nice and then here again that's cool the little candle candle no it's not candelabra is it it's just a candlestick holder stand <laughs> anyway then we've got this one here oh that, they're great toppers again so easy to cut around that lovely image of the stocking really really sweet you got your crown there oh yeah I don't I didn't look at this closely when I was up there because I, I would have remembered this how cool is that king rat <laughs> there's not many paper pads that have a rat is there so I like it that's why I like trim craft and then we've got that lovely pink and then on the other side you have magical Christmas with the fairy or the sugar plum fairy <laughs> it's really cute put it that way you can see it better love that one and then the stars and the drums but oh but again that can easily be used for birthday 
along with the stars. So it's nice to be able to have paper packs that you're not just stuck with. And there's lots of papers that can definitely be used, um, not just for Christmas. That's got Merry Christmas all over. And then here is the ballerina. And she looks like she's going to kiss the nutcracker. <laughs> just really fun images, just really different. And again, I've just said it, that's, that's why I love the Trimcraft brand because they do just do things a little bit different. They don't follow everybody else because it's always the same old stuff that comes out with a lot of brands. This is always just so different. Lovely different coloured rocking horses there. And then more of the snowflakes and stars. And then look, he's got a whole sheet dedicated to himself. That lovely nutcracker. My mum's got lots of nutcrackers, some very large ones and some smaller ones that my dad collected for her when he was when he was in the navy and he used to travel abroad so he's got some original really lovely german ones and we've got some beautiful really is quite nice I've, i always say to her make sure you leave that to me because i want it all <laughs> then we've got the ballerina like i said that's i know it's got the snowflake there but you could still use that for for birthdays especially christmas birthdays and then we've got fa la 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 that's nice easy to cut out and that's it the top's come off of that one but um, yeah, I think that's really fun. Then we've got Paper Addicts Wild Winter. So this is a great one for your masculine cards and gift bags and boxes. I've done a nice, I guess, more home decor piece with this one when I was at head office. And I've actually done a magazine commission with this. So I used this a couple of months ago and made some cards, which I believe are out today in a magazine, if, I, if I'm right. Anyway, I will link and share all that as I do. So there, this is Wild Winter. So here we've got Winter Wishes, Warm and Cozy, and Snuggle Up. So again, great to cut out separately, but to also have as a nice background paper. You've got the bows. And then you've got here like your kind of log cabin, house in the woods with the little stag there. This one's got let it snow. Yep, let it snow. And then the bigger one there. Oh, here we go with the snowman. That's really nice. I like that one a lot. Um, and then you've got the Christmas trees. And you've got that modern style Christmas tree there. Love that background. Like I said, I've used all of these just to kind of showcase the, the paper collection. The wreath there. And then you've got the bear and the reindeer. And they've got little hearts and sprigs and things. That background. Again, lots of the background pieces that can be used all year round. Snowflakes. More of the um, the woodland there. You've got the bear. I love that one. Because I can mix that in with lots of the other paper pads. So again, that's just your, the sprigs from the tree. And again with that one, really nice. You can see as well, it will work with the wood effect. So, lots of stuff to mix and match. Those two look really nice together. And then more of the, the stag. That's lovely. More sprigs. There's lots of nice background papers for this one. And then you've got elements of all of them really together. That one there. And then you've got Mr Fox all on that one. So yeah. There we go, wild winter, really nice. And then this is my favorite out of all of the paper addicts. This is the one I love. I have made at the minute my favorite Christmas project for this year, although I haven't actually put together many more, but I just, I fell in love with it. It came about very quickly and it didn't take long to do at all, but I just, I love it. And I actually said to the girls at head office, I said, can I take this one? I don't want to leave it. So I'm going to make it again. I'm going to do a full tutorial because it was all made from this paper pack. There are so many nice elements to fussy cut. I added a few extra bits, for example, the artificial snow. Um, and I think this time I'm gonna add in maybe the pipe cleaners. Might put them in with it as well, but you will definitely see that one pretty soon. So this is Cozy Christmas. So we have, first of all, we've got the rose kind of spray of flowers there. And then that nice background. And um, this one here, this is lovely. I fussy cut this one and the presents and the rose there. Really, really pretty. Um, and those ones there, they were nice to cut out. 
Again, more of the presents with like the mistletoe on the top. And then you've got the hearts. The little mittens there with the hearts on them. Really sweet. Nice little kind of star background. Love that one. It's really, really nice. And again, can be used not just for Christmas, with love and for you, that's a great one for Valentine's. This would, would work really quite well with the Valentine's as, um, you know, projects as well. And then these here, lovely tags, sending love at Christmas, have a lovely Christmas and especially for you. Nice sizes as well. And then here you've got your heart shaped wreath. So you've got your mistletoe and the star and then the roses. Very, very sweet. Nice. You could cut right down the middle there and have that as a banner along a card or have it as it is, you know, for a nice gift box. And then we've got these squares here, which again, very easy to cut out. More kind of trims if you want them or as one. And then this one here, got Christmas wishes and the heart and the mittens. There's a little bit of everything all on that piece. The snowflakes. And then the hearts, and this one here, I fussy cut these, they were really pretty, love that one, again that nice kind of border there, that trim, how lovely is that, you cut that out there, like a long, easy, you know, to take that piece out, and you've got these kind of swirls, little doodles, and then the heart lights, I love they've got like a little halo of light around them, so they do actually really look like they're glowing, really, really sweet. And then these ones here with the candle with that lovely spray. I just love it. I just really, really like everything about it. Okay, so I've got most of it in shot. There's still some of the bigger paper pads that I can't, but I'm just blown away and overwhelmed. Um, but I can't wait to get crafting. Like I said, my list is there. It's ready to go. A lot of the templates and the kind of my test runs have been done. So I can just start now recording and get a lot of these Christmas tutorials out to you guys. They will be earlier this year than last year because obviously last year I wasn't with Trimcraft. So I need to yeah start sharing this product with you all. So I hope you like the what's in the box. I am, yeah, got a huge smile on my face right now. So as always, thank you so much Trimcraft. Love you guys so much and I can't wait to get crafting. So let me know what you think of this lovely collection of Christmas product. Let me know if you've already got some of it in the comments below and uh, yeah, I'll start doing the tutorial soon. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.